Greetings everyone. Today I want to do a quick review of the Seastar S50. I bought this out of my own pocket and my comments and review is my own opinion and is not influenced by any other party. I made this video to share my experience with the purchase, as this was bought directly from Taobao in China. The reason I bought this from China is two folds. One, they promised to ship as soon as possible as most other site was out of stock and don't know when they can ship. Two, it's 10% cheaper including shipping cost. The purchase experience was smooth and they shipped out as promised within a week. The package was well protected and there were no issue on arrival. This Seastar S50 comes with a nice protective box, which is easy to carry around. Inside the box, there is a carbon fiber tripod, a USB cable, a solar filter, instruction manual, and of course the main unit. The units is plastic but seem to be well made. In addition, I also ordered two very useful accessories. A metal lens cap for 5 US dollars. And a protective soft casing for only 4 US dollars. The soft casing is a steel and it's almost a perfect fit for the S50 even though it's not specifically designed for the C-Star. The hard box that comes with the C-Star is good, but I found it to be a bit bulky. When I go out to the field, there are other equipment to carry along, and it's difficult to fit the hard casing into a backpack while leaving space for other stuff. The soft casing provides good protection and is easier to pack. Connecting to the unit was simple and straightforward. Sometimes it will not automatically connect itself. You will have to go into the setting of your phone and connect manually. The connection does randomly drop off now and then, but it's not a major issue. The unit will continue with taking the photo even with the phone disconnected, and you can reconnect anytime you like to get an update of the process. Once connected, the C-Star will ask you to level the unit if it's not on level ground. Leveling was simple and usually takes 5 minutes and the unit is ready to capture photos. On the home page of the app, there is the stargazing function to capture deep sky object. Solar to capture photos of the sun. Lunar setting for the moon, planetary for taking photos of planets, and scenery to utilize the powerful zoom for taking photos of object at a distance. Below, the app will show all the deep sky objects that can be seen from the current location. I found this function very handy, and I just picked the object I want to photograph and the unit will automatically search for the object. The search takes 5 to 10 minutes, but I'm not complaining as all is done automatically. After it finds the object, you can ask the unit to autofocus which take another 5 minutes or so. The autofocus is quite accurate, and I basically rely on it to do the focusing. To access other functions of the app, 
Just press on the name of the unit's network above the battery indicator. In this menu, you will be able to access functions like Anti-Do, Enhance Exposure Time Setting, Compass and Level Sensor Calibrations, as well as setting the unit to save all frames for further stacking and processing yourself. Here are some of the results. These are just downloaded from the unit without processing. Even though not up to the standard of what you can get from a full frame camera, the result is definitely impressive, especially considering the price, simplicity of setup and use. The unit probably cost less than 10% of full frame camera and other equipment needed to capture deep sky objects like tracker, lens and so on. Its weight, it's also a fraction of that. Net net. I think this is a good equipment for amateurs that does not know much about deep sky photography, but wants to try out the hobby. You don't need to know where the stars or nebulae are. You don't need to know how to focus on very dark skies. The S50 does it all for you. The unit will also automatically add pollution filter for you when needed. Even though there is a fair bit of noise, this could be because the photos was taken in Bortle's six skies in the city which is the best I can get in my area. I will fly out to Australia to test out the unit in better dark skies. I will update with the result after the trip.